Footy legend and media personality John K. Watts was given a farewell today by his first senior football club. Wattsy died last Saturday at the age of 80 and today his friends, family and East Perth fans had their chance to pay their respects. Famous faces from the world of TV, radio and entertainment sprinkled with a bunch of footy greats. They'd come to honour East Perth's greatest player. Well, that's how Watsy would have coined it. His uh, football achievements, if you've never heard them, he'd tell you and tell you. That's how humble he was and uh, tell you how good he was. He did play in three premierships for the Royals before heading east to Geelong, where he helped the Cats win the 1963 flag. John has always told me that he single-handedly won the Geelong Grand Final. As he took that one-armed scream, oh Christ, have I heard about that. Today was all about remembering the man who'd spent the latter years of his colourful life talking himself up and taking the mickey. Barry Martin, his partner in those heady days when he and Watsy dominated breakfast radio, flew over from Adelaide for today's service. We actually invented uh, Contra. Now, I don't know what any, if anyone knows what contra means. You sort of give something and you get something back. Watsy died last Saturday from a rare form of bone cancer. I'm sure if there's a heaven, he'd be up there teaching God how to play footy and teaching Jesus how to tell a good gag. Chris Young, 7 News.